Hello, Cal Forever here. I wanted to say something because I feel like people are trying to suppress my voice. And... I'm at like... Because I don't want to disturb people or upset people. Because some of the stuff I do, I do see how it's inappropriate. But like this feeling that I have, it's like... I have to express myself. And, and one thing that I've been doing, and I try to find the best places possible. Like, I'll climb to the top of the mountain and just, like, sing or, like, so I'll sing my, sing my lungs out. I'll sing my, I'll sing my gut. I'll sing my root out. Like, I've been doing this one, and I'll show you what I've been doing so you see where, I'm, where people are coming from if it bothers them. But it's just, oh. because it's hitting my hitting all my chakras for one thing it's really hitting my sacral chakra and it it feels like but it's hitting all of them but it feels like that life force spot right there is just really resonating with with that singing or it's like people are like apparently my landlord got called because I'm screaming and playing my flute. It's like, okay, I'm in my car and I have been on like mountaintops all day doing that, but like this feeling that I have and like it feels necessary. Quit trying to suppress me because obviously it's something you're afraid of or like you want to blame me because of your absurd negativity and unconsciousness blame me for that you're stressed out like literally my upstairs neighbor was like well you're stressing me out like and I understand like I, I'll sing because I was like recording stuff for my sound healing but it's like this is my house like I got to do this and I understand that it really is powerful and projects through but I mean this is meant to give you a sense of peace what's what the re what what is creating that stress is your resistance to it which is like obviously something that happened to you before in the past and and quit trying to like blame me for it like like i need to express myself and i find all the ways that i can like like i said i'll literally climb mountains and, and do it on the mountaintops you know I do it in my car while i'm driving right now it seems the best time to do it because if someone does hear me and it pisses them off, then at least I'm constantly moving. Because, <laughs> you know, it's like I'm afraid that someone's going to call the cops. I'm afraid that they're going to take me to a mental hospital because you're crazy. Because you're expressing yourself. You're different. You're weird. You know, and literally that has happened to me before. I have been taken to a mental hospital because I had a psychic opening. And I was explaining all these spiritual things. To my mom and to my parent, to my parents, to the doctors, and they're like, "Oh, he's fucking psychotic instead of psychic." Like I'm trying to explain angels in 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 spiritual experiences in a grounded sense, and it's really difficult when you when you don't have reference points for what's happening to you, and so you try to tell the people that supposedly love you, but they're not even living in their heart space. So they can't even em empathically feel how you're feeling and what's going through your mind. And then you're over here having a psychic opening and empathic yourself. And so you can feel how they feel and they're, it's like something based on fear and they're like afraid that like you're crazy. And it's like, no dude, like you're projecting those things on me. Please don't do that. Please like, like, just to love me. That's all I really want is just to be loved and to feel safe to express myself. And so I have been the one making myself feel safe to express myself and not giving a fuck. And it's like, it's like I don't want to fight like hell. I don't want to have to put up with resistance. I don't want to have to create a reality like that for myself. 
I want to be able to feel free to do what I want from my heart space. And, and, and the heart never creates anything that's going to harm anyone else. You know, if I'm out projecting my voice from my heart and all seven chakras and it's disturbing someone, it's because they are disturbing themselves by resisting the beauty of which they are that they're resistant to because they're hearing it and seeing it from someone else. But I don't know what else to say. It's I feel like I need to say this because I'm not crazy. I'm very intelligent. I'm very creative. I'm very loving. I have very good emotional intelligence. I think I think emotional intelligence has been one of the things that has really been misunderstood and looked down upon, looked poorly upon. Because emotional intelligence is way more important than logic. Definitely is. Because that's where it starts from. Is is from from it's like being and feeling are one and then and then there's being and feeling and then there's logic. And I think this is a good video. Something important for me to say. If I do like get taken to a mental hospital, that's one of my fears. I'm afraid of going back to the mental hospital. I worked at a mental hospital for so long and I started getting lots and lots of anxiety and plus I was on medications. And, and it's like I started getting on medications probably because I picked up the energy there, which the reason why I picked up that energy was probably to clear it out of the collective because I don't like to play victim on it and like blame other people for those problems. I've done that before in the past. It, it's not really how it is because we are... are co-creators of our reality and we can say who gets to come into our reality and who doesn't so I think that's why it's important to acknowledge my fears or what I'm afraid of and to express them and let them go and release them and you know it like it pisses me off like I don't know what else to, to do I you know, I want to be able to sing in the shower. You know, my, my neighbor gets mad when I sing in the shower. You know, I'm sorry. My voice is beautiful. Don't. I mean, Jesus, fuck. Like, when I when I sing in the mornings, and, it, and, and, I, and I further deepen this day, like I learned this before, but it's like when I started singing in my house, because before I didn't, because, before I didn't, because I knew my neighbor would get mad. But, you know, I started doing it anyways, which she ended up calling me and complaining, saying I was stressing her out because my voice projects through walls and that I'm waking her up. Like, don't take a nap during the day. My job is to wake you up. Shut up. <laughs> but it's like I started seeing the energy and I started feeling good. And so this morning I didn't sing out of respect for my neighbor, which was disrespectful to myself. And, you know, maybe I should not be living there at that house, in that apartment or whatever. But it's like I started seeing rainbows in, like, it's like aligning with your soul. When you're in, a, in perfect alignment with your soul, like, everything clicks. The light shines through you. S-O-L. Light. The sun. Soul. You know, the one ray of light that shines through you. The crystalline nature of your body. It's like shining the sunlight through a crystal and seeing rainbows refracted through it. Instead of seeing your, your reflection everywhere, you see your, your refraction. That's that's how you know you have found someone that you're meant to be with. When you look at someone and you're not seeing your reflection, you are seeing your refraction. You are seeing your own light shining through them. And that's how you truly see yourself. Because a reflection, when you look at yourself in the mirror, you're seeing yourself as backwards. A refraction is seeing you how you are, face to face with yourself. That's what a true twin flame is. And that's even what anyone else living in their heart space is from. Anyone else that has shattered the mirror of illusion, you know, and chooses to shine the light through them, creating rainbows and that's that's where it's at I hope this is a really good video and I hope that you like it and 
I hope it really hits you in the spots. No, not hit. <laughs> I hope it, it, you know, it tickles the tenderness within your heart. And you feel like you're being wrapped by a hug with the energy that I offer. And I appreciate you and thanks for taking your time to watch this video and to, you know, hear me out. And we all crave connection. We all want to be loved. You know, and we can get to the point where we love ourselves so much and we respect ourselves that we won't settle and put up with other people's bullshit. But it is upsetting sometimes when you're craving connection so bad and you're not getting the connection and all you can do is offer it to yourself and, and it's like even though you're not going to settle for people that are disconnected with themselves not alignment with themselves because that's not even true connection I know it's frustrating but I think this is the time this is the year 2016 that we're going to come together it's, it's like the family comes together not just twin flames that might be something that happens first. That might be something that happens last. That might be something that happens directly in the middle of everything. But I think I feel I feel that heart-centered beings are going to come together because we've been been by ourselves for too long. Thanks for being here.